a reading from the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord, Yehovah Shimehal Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. I first and foremost want to start this lesson off by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakai Hakwatash. Yahweh be the true name of the Heavenly Father in the Paleo Hebrew tongue, which means He is, He to be, He exists. Yahweh Shai being the true name of the only begotten Son in the Paleo Hebrew tongue, meaning He is salvation. He is the deliverer, He delivers. Bahasham, Rakai Hakwadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to give double honors to the head apostles, to the elders, bishops, teachers of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well across the four winds with sound doctrine, to the like-minded brothers, the Akim, who are under the umbrella, pushing this truth and sincerity all on one accord across the four winds, risking your lives and freedoms to do so, to USA Shalom. Peace and blessings unto the house of David, Tabernacle of David, consisting of the twelve tribes of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, and Israelite foreigners are scattered abroad, those who derive from the seed line of our forefather Jacob through Abraham and Isaac. You make up the twelve tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of, and you seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. Shalom to the Akim and the Akiawa, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, tuning in. Salaki. Now, again, the just Lord is in the midst of us all, right? All things consist of Yahweh Bashim Shai. All things are in control, okay, and and uh, ordained by Yahweh Bashim Shai. Yeah, he will not do iniquity in that judgment, okay? There is no sin. There is all the, as the scriptures say, all the, the uh, judgments of the Heavenly Father are done in righteousness and in truth, okay? So he faileth not to bring that judgment to light every morning. And that's exactly what we're seeing today, okay? And every day that the Heavenly Father blesses us with. But the unjust know no shame. Knoweth no shame, that's right. So the unjust are going to go on because they're very proud boastful of themselves lovers of themselves idol idols idolatry so on and so forth right okay the ways of wickedness okay so of course as the news as has gotten out today being november 1st um you know heavy judgment okay and this brings me back to a lesson that i saw yesterday okay on october 31st what the world knows as quote unquote halloween okay a pagan holiday now, this uh, somewhat inspired by the elder Kazak Ya'ala out of the GMS Mississippi camp. Inshallah, to the elder, Zaquan, as well as all the other brothers again, the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Okay. Now, in that lesson, uh, the elder mentioned the fact that there was going to be heavy judgment. And there was going to be, uh, as is every day. But again, he said in particular, he's like, watch, there's going to be some heavy judgment. There's going to be a lot of judgment tonight. And, you know, I'm just roughly paraphrasing what, he, what the elder said. So, of course, news getting out today that this rapper Takeoff from the group known as Migos, okay, was, was slain at a, a bowling alley slash billiards, you know, uh, an establishment, okay, over in Houston, okay. So, let me get a little little news on this real quick. Lord willing, it'll be edifying, comforting, exhorting to the hopeful elect of Israel. I can't go quiet. I can't go all set. I can't call none of these niggas. Yo, yo, the rail. Yo, rail. Yo, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't live like this no more. I'll be I just want to repeat that last part right there. So I can. I'm done. I can't live like this no more. I'm... I can't live like this no more. Right, so this rapper, I believe it's a rap artist by the name of Designer. Okay, obviously in tears and anguish and in dismay because of his loss. Okay, but ultimately it was judgment from Yahweh Bashi Shai. Psalms 7 and 11. The most high power, God, judgeth the righteous. And the most high is angry with the wicked every day. That's right. So 
you know, those who are working iniquity, okay, at the left hand, okay, and making covenants with the heathen, you know, selling their souls to the devil, so on and so forth, right, okay, they're working with the enemies, man, okay, Shatan, spiritual demon Satan, all right, being manifested in the in the flesh, man, through Esau of Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, okay, chiefly Amalek, okay, the little hatters, right, those who are are pulling the strings, okay, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, roughly paraphrasing, so all these cats are working in iniquity and pushing this, these wicked vibrations, enchantments into the world, okay, promoting adultery, idolatry, um, you know, defilement of the temple, you know, in, in the means of, of enticing people, promoting, again, uh, illicit drug use, you know, violence, things as such, right? Adultery, so on and so forth, man. So, you know, you name it, all right? And, uh, you know, drug trafficking, you name it, okay? All the things that these devils are promoting, man, okay, is, is a stumbling block unto our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Therefore, the Most High is angry with them every day. Therefore, judgment comes down. Psalm 7 and 12. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. That's right, man. So, you know, not only do the wicked, okay, prepare those to shoot the arrows at the perfect, as I say, roughly paraphrasing, okay, the, the those that are working, you know, righteousness on the right-hand side to the best of their ability to rehearse righteous acts, man. The Most High is also, you know, bringing down that judgment again, right? W-H-E-T, wet, meaning sharpen, okay? Preparing, sharpening. So the Most High okay is also preparing that judgment for these devils and as you see here from a tmz report yeah he was shot tmz uh reporting that takeoff quote unquote the artist here was shot dead at 28 years old in houston okay now it's an, i'm not gonna play that video but uh there's a graphic video and uh as well as you can find it online i saw a, a twitter video that showed uh you know kind of the aftermath of it all now it just you could just hear people screaming and whatnot things as such and and so the point being is that um you know there was there was a scene there where reportedly they were playing a dice game and he was shot multiple times and of course uh you know this clip here saying that uh, five shots were fired but there were reports that more many more shots were fired than that so um you know obviously right now more details are being um clarified and made official but the point being um you know take off here was hit and uh they say that quavo was also on the scene and so uh yeah it says right here that take off and quavo were playing dice when the altercation broke out right and then that's when someone opened fire shooting take off either in the head or near his head and it says he was pronounced dead at the scene doa dead on arrival right okay so as you can see here going down okay it says tmz has obtained footage from the scene and then you can see quavo in an orange shirt and yada yada it says uh here's the point yeah it's locked here now it says takeoff posted a pic of himself lighting up at the bowling alley so here's right here lighting up probably probably uh lighting up some of that oil you know some of that whatever uh wax you know all that other stuff that the you know people are, are are smoking you know these days and uh yeah man you know yeah here's another post before the shooting and of course he's right here wearing that cross okay so he's a hypocrite idolizing you know and, and idolizing that cross and and all the idolizing himself wickedness so on and so forth man therefore judgment and again, all the things that they're promoting, all the wicked vibrations that they're putting on the earth. And for that much, you know, our people, man, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, once again, man, they're they're envious of, of things as such, man. When they see people of, of a quote-unquote status, right, um, you know, with money, cars, clothes, big houses, you know, lots of women, things as such, man, right? Big old, they, they, they floss and trying to floss with the big old 
freaking pound of weed in a, in a music studio, right? Things as such, okay? They envy those things, man, you know? They try to think that they could obtain that type of lifestyle for themselves, and that's that's really what life is about, okay? And that's bullshit, just to say it bluntly. It's like if my language. But, you know, the point being, man, those things do not pertain unto salvation. They do not pertain to everlasting immortality. They do not obtain uh, pertain to righteousness through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's not profitable. Okay? It doesn't bring forth ripe fruit. All right? Therefore, that rotten fruit, man, that unfruitful branch is going to be hewn down, be cut down, and burnt up in the fire, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing. Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, chapter 9, verse 11. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. That's right, man. So be not envious, man, of these things, man, okay? The sinners, man, that go along, that are able to, uh, you know, attain monetary goods, resources, as such, right? Okay? They, they make these deals with these devils, right? And then they, they, you know, they go and try to, you know, flaunt the fact that they're a billionaire, quote unquote, or they got, you know, racks, right? They, they got freaking uh, grills, you know, they got freaking diamonds and jewelry, you know, you know, all, all the cars and you name it. Like I said, man, you know, trying to trying to act, you know, trying to act like they're uh, invincible, man, with their bulletproof vests and their guns and their music videos. Right. All right. All that such, all that nonsense, man, all that folly, folly going into foolishness. Okay, so for thou knowest not what shall be his end. What's that end? Judgment. Okay, the heavenly Father's judgment. Y'all, Bashim, y'all, Shai, always will be forevermore undefeated, man. All right, your arms are too short to box with the Most High, as the saying goes, as the brother said. That's right, man. You can't hide from that judgment. In uh, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach chapter nine, and verse twelve. Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember, they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. That's right. So delight not in those things that they have pleasures in, right? Again, smoking weed, you know, do, uh, you know, promoting adultery, you know, defiling their temples with illicit drug use and, and things as such, man. Okay? All those things, man, that they, that they promote. And again, through these wicked enchantments and vibrations in their music and, and in their music videos and, and, and you know, all the media, uh, you know, photo shoots and things as such, man, they're always promoting some form of wickedness, man. OK, and, and it's all it's all tied into Esau of Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. Once again, man. All right. These devils are, are um, able to to entice our people, man. OK, to to ultimately be a symbol of that wickedness man and draw the so-called negroes latinos native americans into that type of lifestyle and so continuing on it says again but remember they shall not go unpunished unto their grave that's right they will not go unpunished the heavenly father as was read in zephaniah 3 and 5 okay that judgment coming every morning every day every second okay every second of the day man there's judgment okay so delight not in these things. Envy not the glory of a sinner. Okay? We should be seeking things, spiritual things, spiritual riches. Our conversation should be in the heavens. Not of things here that are to fade away, become moth-eaten, robbed, and ultimately burnt up. As the scriptures say, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Roughly paraphrasing. That's ultimately at the latter end, man. And especially here in Babylon, America, with that lake of fire. ICBM hypersonic missiles, chariot fire coming to Babylon, America, and destroy every inch of it. All right. A reading from the book of Luke, St. Luke chapter 12, verse 15, and red letter being Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai speaking, the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. It says, and he said unto them, Take heed. So listen, right? Take it to take it in. Take heed. Listen to this. All right. Receive it. Take heed and beware of covetousness. Covetousness being ill-gotten gain, right? Ill-gotten riches, okay? Beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. That's right, man. So your, your life is not measured and in, in, in true value doesn't come from the things that you have in this world. 
doesn't come from your bank account it doesn't come from your financial portfolio how many women you got how many cars you got your jewelry your guns your your all that other nonsense man it doesn't mean a damn thing all right again man you're going to be judged by your faith by your works man all right you're going to be judged with those spiritual lenses of yahabba shimi hawasha man all right that ultimate power the almighty power allah shadia that almighty power the terrible demon like power okay so the heavenly father he kills he makes alive he wounds and he heals roughly paraphrasing the scripture from deuteronomy okay so again these things do not pertain unto salvation they do not pertain unto everlasting life right here in the book of proverbs chapter 28 okay and in the blue letter bible the header reads warnings and instructions so that we're blowing the trumpet we're sounding the alarm warning our people and many scriptures man okay this prophecy as the scriptures also say through the fear of the lord we persuade men right so the fear of the lord being the beginning of wisdom okay as the scriptures say so we again ex um, hope to admonish exhort and, and rebuke and, and so on and so forth and to teach right all in beginning with the fear of the lord right that again uh, you know this this going into warnings and instructions the book of proverbs chapter 28 i'm gonna start at verse 4 and again this being written uh, the book of proverbs by the wisest king to ever walk the earth that would be king solomon the son of king david and if your spirit can receive it the first spirit ever created being the same spirit of hamashiach yahweh the only begotten son okay so king solomon wrote this book now in proverbs chapter 28 and verse 4 they that forsake the law meaning the law statutes and commandments of the most high the scriptures they that forsake the law praise the wicked but as such keep the law contend with them that's right so such as keep the law okay you are making yourself an opponent okay we're in a spiritual battle okay we're in a spiritual battle not a carnal battle so we fight against the wicked on the left hand side we know Lord, through the power of Yahweh Shimi Shai on the right hand side, the right hand of righteousness, starting with, you know, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit. Okay? So we contend with them because why? They, again, they work iniquity and they forsake the law of the Most High, Yahweh Shimi Shai. They praise the wicked. They praise wickedness, iniquity, sin upon sin. Proverbs 28 and 5 Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Adawan, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh understand all things. That's right. So they understand not judgment. As you saw, that man that was, uh, you know, crying right here in this video, right? Okay, designer, right? You see him crying. He's dismayed. He's he's in anguish. I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of other videos and posts that come out in the coming days. Okay, you'll probably see some funeral coverage, right? Things as such. So all these people are gonna claim why they don't understand, so on and so forth. Right, they're they're gonna they're gonna decry the situation, if you will, right? They're gonna call out for some type of change and yada yada. But at the end of the day, you, you know, as the scriptures say, man, you you reap what you sow. Okay, they're sowing iniquity and wickedness into the world, therefore they will receive that. Okay. But again, they do not understand that judgment. Proverbs twenty eight and six: Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. That's right. So better is the poor, right? The meek, the humble, the lowly. Okay, the poor of this world. That will be the Israelites, man. Okay, the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But them that walketh uprightly, that would be speaking of the hopeful elect and those that are calling on the names of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Only Begotten Son and the Paleo Hebrew. Okay? In truth and sincerity all right so better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness right again man because we're seeking spiritual things spiritual riches not those of this world right that he that is perverse in his ways though he be rich that's right because again that um that that perverseness right and you know what just for edification's sake you know what um perverse meaning more or less wicked and, and and whatnot but i want to go into the strong uh, strong definition just for edification's sake okay so he that is perverse 
Strong's H, 6141. Ikesh. 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 And the Strong's Hebrew. Okay, where he does wicked and going into uh, twisted, distorted, crooked, perverse, perverted, false. That's right, man. So, you know, a distorted point of view, you know, that that is not of the truth. You know, they're trusting in their own understanding. They're leading in their own understanding. Okay. And ultimately, it is not the ways of Yahweh Bashim al Shad. They're not walking that straight, narrow path towards a straight gate. Okay. They're taking the broad path that leadeth unto destruction, as the scriptures say. All right. But again, we understand this judgment, man. Okay. So, yeah, man, they're perverse in their ways, though he be rich, right? Because they're rich in this carnal sense of this world. But again, the Heavenly Father, man, as the scriptures all say, he makes rich, he makes poor, right? So he's going to, you know, Lord willing, out of the we'd be of that number that be made spiritually rich, you know, in the kingdom to come. And here, while we're here to endure in these latter days, we are rich in faith. So again, judgment came down and much more judgment came down, okay? Because of the uh, idolatry and these this pagan Halloween holiday, right? Much more judgment. Again, uh, pertaining to what the elder Kazak Ya'ala had said, okay, out of GMS Mississippi, uh, handle for his page uh, being GMS Page Master, and Jacob is the beginning, all right? I don't want to have to You brothers and sisters will subscribe if you haven't already, all right? It's a very edifying brother. All right, now I'm going to go into a couple of the articles that came down. Because again, that judgment, okay? So this reported from ABC News, okay? As many as 14 injured in a drive-by shooting in Chicago on Halloween night, okay? So, yep, as many as 14 people, including a three-year-old, were injured in a drive-by shooting in Chicago, right? So they reported it as a drive-by up to four people shot, um... I mean, so like you up to 14 people shot, he says, including a, a, a three year old and an 11 year old. And uh, he said there may be also a 13 year old that was injured. Right. So, you know, just going into that, of course, right here, ABC uh, affiliate uh, six action news right out of Philadelphia reporting it says multiple Philly shootings leave three people dead, deleted. OK, and five injured on Halloween night. Okay, so different areas of uh, Philadelphia, you know, where um, just no arrests were made, right? Okay, so different, you know, I think there were reports of drive by as well. It says that right here, yeah, 36 year old man was shot six times. Okay, so yeah, 27 year old man was shot multiple times. Okay, so yeah, 26 year old man was listed as extremely critical after being shot five times. And of course, you women are not uh, exempt from that judgment as well. 22 year old woman was also shot five times that's right man moving on to kansas city cnn reporting one deleted and up to six injured in a shooting at a halloween party okay so one person was deleted and as many as six others injured in a shooting monday night at a halloween party at a home in kansas city okay so that's pretty much the point okay there's uh, details regarding the situation happened in the evening. Okay, so up all night doing wickedness, man. Because again, celebrating that pagan holiday. All right, these idol this idolatry, man. You know, dressing up as this, man. You know, I was at a work site uh, last night. Okay, the quote unquote, the thirty first being quote unquote Halloween evening. So you know, you see these, this folly, man. This foolishness, man. You know, I saw a damn grown ass man. Grown ass, it would appear to be a Northern Kingdom Jake, dressed up as a damn cookie monster. Okay, working inside of a of a of a grocery store. Okay, and now driving driving back towards towards the house, saw a damn grown ass man dressed up as a freaking cow. All right. So the point being, man, this is just wickedness. It's folly, and uh, you know these these it's just foolishness, man. But I'll continue on here with the scriptures. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 27. For the worshiping of idols, not to be named, is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. That's right. So for spiritual fornication, for coming away from our power, okay, for idolizing things of the world, ourselves, so on and so forth, right? And that's ourselves meaning people in general, okay? 
uh, but in particular the Israelites, okay, the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. They have come away from their power, okay? So it is the cause, the beginning, the cause at the end of all evil. That's right, because it's the beginning of that, man. Okay, that idolatry, that that uh, disobedience, okay? The abominations that take place before the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, right? So again, the beginning and the cause and the end of all evil. That's right, the end. So that's going to be your end. That will be what leads to your judgment, okay? That idolatry, spiritual fornication, that wickedness, man, working that iniquity, okay? So the Heavenly Father is going to put an end to that quick and in a hurry. Continuing on in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 28. For either they are mad when they be merry, or prophesy lies, or live unjustly, or else lightly forswear themselves. And so again, they be mad when they be merry, right? So really, you know, that happiness, um, you know, in the moment, you know, it, it doesn't lead to, to true, uh, you know, meekness, being humble. It doesn't it doesn't seek to to uh, balance, okay. It doesn't seek to spiritual growth, and profiting also spiritually, right? So they'd be thinking that they're sipping on some syrup or, you know, doing this and that and the flesh, trying to please the lust and fulfill the lust of their flesh. But ultimately, that's not true happiness, right? So they prophesy lies, live unjustly, okay, and lightly forswear themselves. So again, all these things that are unprofitable, man prophesying and speaking of lies and promoting wickedness and things as such man living unjustly right not and not that's pleasing in ways that are not pleasing to you how about you how shot wisdom of solomon 14 and 29 for in so much as their trust is in idols so again they're trusting in this jc character caesar borgia who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ okay right so that that false idol okay worship same thing with, you know, Virgen de Guadalupe, the Virgin Mary, and so on and so forth. All these other idols. And again, uh, idolizing money themselves. Um, you know, the God of this, the God of that, yada, yada. I believe in everything, so on and so forth. You know, I mean, you name it, okay? They idolize everything and everything. Okay, so going back to Wisdom of Solomon 1429, I'll repeat that. For in so much as their trust is in idols which have no life, Though they swear falsely, yet they look not to be hurt. That's so they swear upon these things and they trust in these things that have no life, that cannot save. Okay, yet they look not to be hurt. They think they're protected. They 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 have faith, okay, and hope that they will be protected in these false idols and such. Verse 30. How be it for both causes shall they be justly punished? Both because they thought not well of the Most High, the true living power, the one true living power, giving heed unto idols and also unjustly swore in deceit, despising holiness. That's right, man. So again, they will be justly punished, okay? Because they think not well of the one true living power, the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, the Holy One of Yasha Allah. Yasha Allah mean he, prince of the power. Okay? Giving heed unto idols. Once again, different forms of idolatry. And also unjustly swearing and deceit, despising holiness. And what does holy mean? Be separate, right? Sanctify, be separate, man. Right? So they swear and deceit, man. Okay? Because they call on the wrong names. They call on these false idols. And, and ultimately, they're a bunch of damn hypocrites. All right? They, they want to go do work this iniquity and idolatry and abominable things before the Heavenly Father. Then they're going to turn around, go into a harlot house, a so-called Christian church, so-called Catholic church, and all the other false denominations, quote-unquote. And then they go and they think that they can throw $5 into a collection plate that they're, uh, quote-unquote, washed of their sins. And then they go and eat a bacon sandwich thereafter. All right? So continuing on, that judgment. Okay, again, Halloween night. Teen kit uh, deleted at Halloween party, okay, was a quote-unquote Bloomingdale High School student though down in Tampa, Florida, okay, teenager was deleted and another teen was hospitalized after a shooting at a Halloween party in Thanotosasa, uh, okay, 
So Hillsborough County Sheriff's officer responded, okay, and uh, found one teen suffering from a wound, okay, and ultimately the other one was deleted. Judgment, okay, and the same thing happened over the weekend. Uh, you know, this wasn't a Halloween night, but I believe it was. Uh, it took place on the 30th, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this was in here in California, in uh, Covina, okay, where two men were deleted, okay. But actually, just to go back to that point, so this was uh, ultimately took place because um, more or less they asked certain people to leave that were not invited to the party, okay. So, yeah, there were certain individuals who made it into the party and uh, they were asked to leave. And ultimately, um, those individuals decided to you know let let some rounds fly off man pop that thing you know and ultimately that was the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man all right again this is uh, happening now in California okay families of two men deleted I got a Halloween party okay so kind of the same thing uh, same situation you know they um, some individuals were there and and they weren't invited quote unquote things as such and uh, ultimately they were um, asked to leave that was a it was a scuffle, you know, a fight broke out outside of the residence. Uh, some of it was caught on camera. Okay. And ultimately two men were deleted. Okay. 20 year old and a 33 year old. Right. So deleted and, uh, you know, men, women, and children. Okay. Again, as you saw in the reports that, uh, many, uh, a few children were, were injured in different shootings. Okay. This is from the newsobserver.com newsobserver.com reporting out of Raleigh, North Carolina, okay, three children were injured too seriously in North Raleigh shooting on Halloween night, okay, that's pretty much the meat of it, okay, two children, it says uh, a third suffered non-life-threatening wounds, okay, so they were, they were receiving treatment, the suspects are still at large, all right, so the Heavenly Father is uh, not a respecter of persons, okay, Just, you know, when, men, women, young, old, children, all right, so on and so forth. All subject to judgment from Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there's no respect of persons. That's right. And respect of persons, that goes into favoritism. Okay? There's no favoritism of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. If your number's called, that's it. Okay? If your judgment's called, that's it. Right? So it says, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. Right. And that judgment will come down for the sins and iniquities that we commit in this life and in our past lives. Okay. Reincarnation. Regeneration. Okay. So it's not just one lifetime that, that you're going to be judged for. Okay. So for those who might think, oh, they're so young. How could they commit sin and iniquity? Yada, yada. It's like, no, nah, man. You're judged for things that are done in this lifetime and in your past lives. Okay. That's how our power works. The one true living power. And if you would take heed and come back in truth and sincerity, you would have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding if the Lord put that fear on you, put the spirit on you, okay? So for those who are kind of kind of uh, straddling the fence, if you will, all right, you better get your ass right before time runs out, man, because the elect are being sealed in these latter days, and and time is, is of the essence as the saying in the world goes, okay? Finish up here in St. Luke chapter 19, verse 27. Once again, red letter, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai speaking. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. That's right, man. So judgment coming one way or another, okay? Gonna be, and, and that is gonna come to two thirds of our people here in Babylon, America, pursuant to Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. All the other heathen nations. Okay, starting with Esau of Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. All right, so on and so forth, man. All these other heathen nations are going into captivity, all right? And those who will not come before the Adawan, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, okay? And worship and kiss the sun, as the scriptures say, worship and rever the only begotten son, okay? They are counted as enemies, okay? Pursuant to Psalm 139. Is it the, the we hate our enemies with perfect hatred? Roughly paraphrasing, right? Those that do not uh, worship and rever the Adawan Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. 
So those who, who go against the ways of Yahweh and Yahweh Shammah, they love wickedness, they love the ways of death. Therefore, that judgment will come in due time. And for those who make it to the missiles, that's going to be a true, that's, that's going to be a true blessing to you. If you survive the famine, the sword, the pestilence, Jacob's trouble, all these things that are coming, man, sedition amongst men, FEMA camps, all right? It's going to look like the damn purge out here, pursuant to the book of Second Esdras, man, all right? So times are only, these perilous times, these dangerous times, okay, are only going to continue to escalate. And it's all to the power and glory of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Therefore, we hasten the day of the return of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So, Lord willing, that this lesson was edifying, comforting, exhorting to the hopeful elect of Israel. And as always, I want to close out by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Hakwadash. Once again, I'd like to give double honors to the head apostles, to the elders, bishops, teachers of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well across the four winds with sound doctrine, to the like minded brothers, the Akim, who are under the umbrella pushing this truth and sincerity all in one accord, risking your lives and freedoms to do so. I say Shalom. Peace and blessings unto you and your households. Peace and salutations to the hope elect, the house of David, the tabernacle of David. Shalom to the Akim, the Akiawath brothers and sisters tuning in. All right, and repent. You know, seek repentance in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in his latter days. Close out with curse on Babylon. Abad Baba, TTA, soon, real soon. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.